Yo, what's up guys? I actually am about to go take back this camera. Um, I bought it from Walmart.com and shit, but I just put it back in the box, taking back the camera on everything here in a few minutes, so that's why this video is the way that it is. It's in SD and shit. But what I want to do, I want to talk about, before I go, I want to talk about survival, survival horror games and Resident Evil. And kind of just why is it the way it is right now. Um, personally, I think that uh, Capcom wanted to make, it's, it's not like they were trying to make a survival horror game and make it like the other ones. They specifically wanted to make a uh, uh, more of an action game, you know? Uh, but... <coughs> I'm pretty sure if Capcom got the message from all the fans and everything that hey, we don't want this, you know, we want uh, the roots of Resident Evil. We want it to be scary. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be scary or creepy. Now, to me, um, I rather have a very creepy game, you know, and um, you know, a lot of times when you see these interviews and stuff like that, when they talk to these people that are making these games like oh is this going to be scary is going to be as scary as part one like if you watch Dead Space 2 review um, interviews stuff like that look oh yeah it's going to be scarier yada, yada. but to me like I think it's better for a game to be creepy other than scary and uh, basically I'm going to kind of explain it Basically, when a game, to, to me, when a game is scary, it has a lot of things that just jump out at you. Kind of like the common, you know, everyday scary movie that you see, there, which there hasn't really been real good ones, period. But, um, you know, they're, they're just there, they give you things that make you jump, you know, things like that. Just give you a quick scare. Uh, but, to me, when I'm thinking about something creepy, it's, it's more about the lighting. It's more about the setting. It's more about like the un the unsettling, you know, feeling about going around a certain corner or hearing sounds. You know what I'm saying? That that makes things creepy. And I think that's more important in survival horror games than than a scare factor. Um, and that's why Dead Space worked out the way it did and um, and all the previous Resident Evils because they they just didn't have those scary moments. They they were very creepy, you know. And that's another thing about these survival horror games and uh, and Resident Evil Five that had a problem was that you know in Resident Evil Five like it wasn't in a disclosed location. It was like you began like in in Zimbabwe, and then the next thing you know, you're in a fucking uh, middle of the goddamn fucking uh, Lake Minnetonka fighting a big ass fucking monster worm fucking tentacle thing the next thing you know you're at the you're on top of a volcano like <sighs> look at any real good uh, scary movie or game it's always in a secluded location it's always um, somewhere that doesn't isn't really expansive because what happens is when you do that when you have all these different locations you have to work with a little too much and a lot of times it's not um, there's no coordination through them you know what I'm saying there, there, there's not there's nothing to have that consistency of a kind of like creepy or scary theme but if you look back look at Resident Evil 1 Resident Evil 2 you know games like that and if it's not in a place you know and uh, well, actually, yeah, that's 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 pretty much that. But when you have something like Resident Evil Five, you're going all these all these all these other places, going into labs and all this stuff. Like you you take that away from it. Whereas you know a place like a game like Dead Space, they did it perfectly. You know, you're on this this spaceship that's been taken over by these fucking necromorphs and shit, and the whole setting is consistent, consistently creepy. Yeah, you go to different areas, you see different things, you look at different things, but every single thing has been taken over by these, this species of whatever the fuck they are. Well, they change from humans and everything, but it's it just keeps that theme together, and Resident Evil 5 is really fucked up with that. 
Um, now, what would work if they would do is that, like, let's say, uh, let's say you have a survival horror game that, you know, consists of, like, going from here to a totally different location and then going to a totally different location, but they, they have to be the same thing. They have to be continuous. It can't be something like, um, I keep using Resident Evil 5 as an example, and I have to because that's like the most known game for having like the mess up, you know? And definitely, without a doubt, they, they, they screwed it up from being a horror game. You know, nothing was consistent at all um, in that game. There was no consistent, like, creepy or scary theme. It was just like, you know, you ran around all of a sudden, and then, you, and then you're shooting these guys and you're fighting them. You know, whether it was a bright sunny day, you know, nothing looked uh, like it was supposed to be creepy at, uh, at all. They didn't really use the sound to their advantage, they didn't use the lighting to their advantage, and they definitely didn't use the atmosphere whatsoever. And that's why I said that it has to be a closed off area. Something whereas like, whatever happened, happened there and only there. E even if it's in a town, at least it has to be secluded in that town. Or even if it's only from here to there, it's something that's secluded from here to there, you know? And, and that's why you always see that those type of movies and those type of games work because they're not trying to extrapolate and do anything else outside of that. Because when you do that, you're just, I don't know, you, you're, you're taking away from your strongest points in the game. And that's why Resident Evil 1 works so well because you were in a mansion. You were in this creepy ass mansion. The mansion had so many different layers to it. It had a basement, all this stuff. But it's the known fact that you were still inside this mansion and then they just kept building off of that. And it always had this very creepy, very creepy kind of, you know, feel to it. The same thing with Resident Evil 2, the, uh, the police station. You know, it was a very creepy place. You know, it was overrun by all these zombies and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just an ongoing thing, you know what I'm saying? And that's why Dead Space 2 is going to be set. Even if all in all it has the same similar mechanics and similar type of gameplay, you know they're going to add a few things, but the, the feeling of playing that game, the creepiness of playing that game, and the little scares that they give you in the game to make you jump or whatever, is really going to be worth it. And it's definitely going to show off in the presentation of the game. And uh, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to rant about. Just about, you know, survival horror games and why Resident Evil 5 just wasn't the way it was. Like, honestly, if they would have made Resident Evil 5 exactly how they did, you know. Like, because nothing really changed from Part 4 as far as the mechanics, you know. Like, I, I like how the game played. Co-op, all that stuff. But it's just the fact that they, nothing was scary about it, nothing was creepy about it. And if they would just go back to their roots with making things seem creepy, whereas using lighting, sounds, um, mainly the presentation, uh, and the atmosphere to their, to their advantage, then, it, then Resident Evil 5 most likely would have been great. But instead it wasn't. You know, it was just a fun game to play with another person if you had another person to play with. Otherwise, if you played by yourself, you know, it, it was okay at best. Uh, some people probably liked it better than others with they, if they played it by themselves, but, you know, they really dropped the ball with it, and I hope that Resident Evil 6 picks it back up and fucking runs with that shit. I really do, because Resident Evil 6... Um, is something that I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait. I loved Resident Evil 4. I love all the Resident Evils, but I loved Resident Evil 4. I was looking forward to Resident Evil 5. I still enjoy Resident Evil 5. I think it's really fun. I play it with the move. It's, it's the definitive way to play Resident Evil 5. Um, I'm actually going to be playing it all the way through again here pretty soon with my uncle because he's got his PS3 and he loves Resident Evil and he wants to play and shit from his crib, my crib over the internet, so that's what's up. But uh but yeah that that's pretty much it y'all. Just let me know what y'all think. But you know, I think that's was that was the real problems with the game is that they try to do too much. They try to take so much at 
different locations and all this stuff and put it all together when they should have had just one location one to two locations or a given area that they had to work with and that's kind of why Resident Evil 4 worked because it was all in this given area there was a part when he, they got onto a boat and went to this other island but still it was consistent you know it, it, it wasn't like uh, it was like they were here then they went here then they went here you know it was just, just a little too much and they had to downplay on the action and regulate the pacing if they would have did all those things Resident Evil 5 would have been great but but they didn't but uh but yeah pacing creepiness regulating how much action to put in the game would have been dope they could have kept the co-op the co-op is something that I'm still highly in favor of for that game but they just have to kind of downplay the action ease the pacing and stuff like that and um have the right atmosphere, presentation, lighting, and uh, it'll be good because you know I can tell you right now, visceral fucking cats behind dead space, they know what the hell they're doing. They definitely know what the hell they're doing. And uh, what, what's that game for the PS3? Um, fuck, what the hell is it, man? I want to say it's called Blood Curse or something like that. I heard that's a real scary game. I heard that's like scary as a bitch. And I'm, I can bet you any money that that game is in a takes place in a secluded area. It's it doesn't go all over the place or nothing. It's it's like in this town or area, some shit like that. Because it works like that. That's how survival horror games, movies, you know, shit like that is supposed to go down. If it goes anything beyond that, then. It's, it's not really creepy, it's not scary, you know? But uh, anyways, like I said for the last time, let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.